Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. Now, with the channel reaching over a million views, which blows my mind, so thank you very much, uh, I thought what a better time than go back and review my first video and think, was I talking absolute nonsense uh, when I started the YouTube channel? So, this video is over a year old. It's got something like 41,000 views. And this was the first video I made uh, about DCS and first on YouTube. So, um, I was new to it, I was quite nervous, I certainly wasn't as chatty as I am now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll press play and we'll see how we get on with the online etiquette. So let's get cracking. Uh, there will be some adverts but I'll we'll fast forward past them. Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. This video is about multiplayer etiquette in DCS World. Right, first things first, how slow was I talking? Um, I think I was very aware of my Scottish accent so... Um, I tried to be very slow when talking so everyone could understand me. Um, yeah, that's a bit weird. Nice first shot though, a couple of Tomcats. Uh, they were AI controlled. Um, I remember having trouble in the mission editor trying to set it all up, but let's get cracking and see what I spoke about. I've came up with a set of kind of rules to go by when you play online DCS because how you interact with the community is either going to have a positive impact or a negative impact on someone else's experience. I'll agree with that straight away. It does. How you behave online massively affects other people. Um, yeah, these these rules came about of me flying with Azan and Lawrence um, and Todd as well. T Todd used to play with us in DCS quite a lot. And we used to play on the Through the Inferno servers or Hoggett and people would shoot you down or just people would be just a bit rubbish sometimes. And I don't mean rubbish as in flying rubbish. I mean, they'd play music down the radio and stuff. They'd be generally annoying. So... After playing this for a while, I thought, do you know what, I'll make a video. I, I'd wanted to make one for ages, but it was Home Command, um, the missus, that decided, just make your video, because I'd, I'd badgered her for about it for months and months and months, and eventually she just got sick and tired of me and said, just make your video, just go and make it. So uh, I did last year. Um, so yeah, let's see how we get on. And of course, your own experience. Right then, That's let's get shot. cracking. Rule number one, don't here be a go. chopper. No one yeah. wants to hear music played down the radios online. Still applies. No one wants to hear you screeching or just basically interfering. People come online to play multiplayer for fun. They don't come online to listen to some of the mentality of a five-year-old screeching or making fart noises <laughs> down the microphone. So just don't do it. Now that applies. Uh, yeah, still don't be a chopper. Bit harsh the way we're speaking. Who am I to tell you what to do? However... Um, it does still apply. Don't be a chopper. Rule number two, communicate. Oh, before I go on, rule number two with the old Stennis. Look how barren that aircraft carrier looks compared to the new ones now. And communicate effectively. Right, it's 2020. Get SRS, install it, and use it when you're playing multiplayer. It makes the game so much better. You can communicate properly with people rather than typing in the chat. A bit preachy again. I don't like that. Sorry if I offended you with this video, that seemed quite preachy. Um, yeah, that this goes back to Azza. I was talking to Azza about making this video and he says, yeah, people should have SRS. It's not the Stone Age and I think I, I tie in that line later on. So thanks Azza for your insight. If, however, you don't want to download SRS and live in the Stone Age, then use tab, tell people what you're doing you go. and use F10. If you're not telling people you're taking off or you're landing, you need to use F10 to see if someone else is taking off or landing. Otherwise, you're just going to create a big massive mess on the runway and everyone will blame you. Go get SRS. That's true. Um, do SRS, communicate. And it's not just because you're telling people to land and take off. Communicating in multiplayer is a huge thing because it makes the game so much more immersive. When you're on a game or a mission with like 20 or 30 other people all on comms, it's an entirely different experience from playing in single player. And when you've got a community like ours, Tactical DCS, all those people there for the same reason, to learn and to help each other. And then when we do campaign missions and things, it brings everyone together and you feel like part of something special. It's, it's great, yeah. Get comms, get SRS. Rule number three, use IFF. Now this is a yes. study sim. There's plenty of systems available so that you don't shoot down a friendly. Use IFF. If in doubt, do not pull the trigger. There's nothing worse than sitting for... Oh, sorry, those camera angles. Chuk, 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 chuk. Um, my editing was not as smooth as it is these days. For ages, starting up your aircraft, taxi, take off, flying off to an area, 
only to be shot down because someone couldn't be bothered to check the systems. Use IFF. Stop killing friendlies. It's not hard. Have yeah. Use IFF. Stop killing friendlies. Not hard. It's true. It isn't hard. Checking a simple system like IFF to avoid a team kill uh, is a big thing. Um, again, quite breachy. I think I'd made this video after I'd been like, shot down the night before or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, good camera angle there, getting the wee buoy or blasting the 14's engines there. But again, these are AI aircraft that I just had like to get B-roll footage because I didn't know what I was doing when I was making a video. And said that, mistakes do happen. If you do kill a friendly, say yep. sorry, either on SRS, because hashtag you're not in the Stone Age, or <laughs> shift tab, sorry mate. Yeah, Rule number apologize. four, F10, F10, F10. As we all know, F10 opens up your map. When you're playing online, most servers have the ability to see friendlies. So, if you see someone coming into the runway, they should have communicated it, but if they haven't, don't just tack something on the runway. Wait. Likewise, if you're inbound and you see mm -hmm. someone sitting on the runway, just wave off. Yeah, I mean, that's common sense. Have a look when you're taxiing, taking off, and have a look when you land. That's why you fly over and do, you, do your circuit. Um, there are times when you can't do that, but... Yeah, try and be a bit considerate of other players because you never know uh, when you might need someone to be considerate to you. That's good advice. Come back the next time. So Feel far, free to four rules in. Say, We're not doing too bad. You F-16 sitting on the runway, chopper. Rule number five, landing and airfield protocol. Now, I think this is going to just repeat what I've just said. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I watched this video. Lots of servers have human ATC. Again, if you've got SRS, not living in the Stone Age, Tune into it. That way, you can ask for clearance. You'll know which taxi way to go on. You're not going to fly into someone as you're trying to take off. In the Having said that, not everyone's going to be comfortable, even if you have got comms, not everyone's going to be comfortable talking to air traffic and things like that. If you're not, come along to our group. We'll teach you. We'll help you get along, get, get you sort of out of that sort of uh, shyness that some might have. Or some people might not be able to do it because they've got screaming kids in the background, which I think I mentioned in this video or a later video maybe. Um, it's not always possible to use the comms, but if you can, do it. But if not, yeah, check that you're not going to taxi the wrong way. taxi way. And read the mission briefs. They're really good. Additionally, if you don't know how to land, go to the training servers or go in single player. Practice, practice, practice. No one wants their life ruined because you've made a massive crater on the runway. Don't be that guy. I mean, life ruined, bit of a bold statement, but it was my first video, I guess. <laughs> yeah, if you're having your life ruined by someone crashing in DCS, perhaps you've got your priorities wrong. It's annoying. It's not life ruining. Seriously, don't be that guy. Rule number six. See, we're flying through them. Okay, tanking. Tanking in DCS can be difficult especially in some of the jets like the F-14 where it's really hard to see where you stick in the probe. Mm -hmm. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Now, it might look cool seeing two planes flying in formation and you want to go up and watch. Then do that watch. Form up on the left and watch. Or go observation right and watch. Don't do barrel rolls over the player, over the tanker. They're busy concentrating, trying to stick that probe in or hold steady enough yeah. for the boom to go on the top. What they don't need is you and your fancy F-18 going, hey, look at my flares, brah. Yeah, that that applies as well. Um, I've paused it as a Mr. Stop basket. It. Let me... Don't be that guy. Yeah, don't be that guy. If you are... Uh, wanting to do stuff like formation and aerobatics, go on those servers. If you're joining a, a server where they're doing missions, try and be considerate. And that goes back to the start. Be a bit more considerate to others. Um, I think it still applies. Tanking, yeah. In general, don't muck about. If someone's trying to do something, take their their break time. So people get the busy lives and stuff. If they're trying to do like a quick mission with the friends, it's not really fair if you're there ruining it. So yeah, be considerate of people because a lot of people, like I said there, they find tanking difficult. So it's bad enough they've got the stress of getting themselves that self-induced pressure. They don't need you mucking about or showing off near them. Uh, yeah, so far, solid advice. If delivered a bit harshly now that I think about it. <laughs> rule number seven, IFF. Yep, See, that a rule is so IFF. important, I've included it twice. If you don't know what you're going to shoot, don't shoot. Yeah, don't Use kill IFF. Friends. And if you make a mistake, use the word, sorry. Yeah. Rule number eight, don't be afraid to talk. Before I carry on rule number eight, yeah, that saying sorry, 
uh, it's a huge thing. If you do make a mistake, because it does happen, say, say sorry, that still applies. I was quite wise a year ago. I don't know what happened. Multiplayer is a brilliant environment for you to make friends, make new wingmen, and generally have much more fun in DCS than you would in single player. Don't yep. be afraid to talk. Everyone there, I say everyone, most of us are not professional pilots. Or are we fighter controllers? I'm a fighter controller. However, what we are <laughs> is enthusiasts who enjoy playing a sim game. So talk, but don't don't try and sound like a pilot. Don't be like, uh, Roger, taxi, uh, runway, uh, three, uh, one. Make I made that impression because I had someone on a multiplayer server. I'm not going to say who, but that's how they were talking. And it was quite amusing to me because having spoken to pilots for most of my career and then teaching people how to speak on radios... Um, it's quite amusing to hear how people think pilots should speak or how I think they should sound on the radio. Just be yourself, talk normally. And when I say there, don't be afraid to talk. Yeah, like I said earlier, sometimes you can't because the, the environment you're in or you don't have a mic working or maybe you're just afraid. But there are people that will help. So if you say something, you should find people helping, especially like a Tactical DCS. If you say something wrong on a radio, no one's going to scream and shout at you and say, oh, that's not how you say that code word. What we will do is say... If you want to know how to say that code word or what you need to say or what you could say, and we'll teach you that. Um, yeah, if people are getting obtuse about you saying something on the radio you shouldn't be saying, nah, ignore them. Yeah, just be yourself. Plain English if you need to. Easy peasy. Keep short and concise. I only say English, not because English language, blah, blah, blah. What I mean is English is the language of air traffic control and fighter control. That's why I say plain English. Not that I'm being discriminatory against those who don't speak English. When it's not just... Nice. Warlock 1, Spanish. Taxis, Runway 3, 1, Sochi. Simple. Easy. I will create a future video on comms, specifically watch how it. to be clear and concise, and I'll explain why in that video. Rule number 9, IFF. That's right, <laughs> a rule so... Maybe I included IFF, not because it's so important I included it three times, maybe it's because of my first video... I thought 10 simple rules and then I couldn't think of them because I was panicking. So important, I've included it three times. Yeah. Check your IFF. If you don't have IFF, make sure... And if you don't know what IFF is, because I don't actually explain in this video, identify friend or foe. It's a system that lets you see if that's a friendly or an enemy on your radar. Sure, you VID the target so you don't kill a friend. VID, visually and identify. Again, say sorry. Accidents happen, but yes, at least apologise. Rule 10, have fun. DCS is a sim. That should be rule one. Straight away looking back, it should be rule one. You're not going to die if you get shot down. You're you not going to die if you crash into the ground. What you will have to do is go through a long start procedure. Depending on their frame. Multiplayer is amazing fun. Yes, it, it is. It is so much better to play online than it is single player. That's why we created a community that has now nearly 4,000 members. Come and join us. Link is in the description below. Ask questions. If you're new to a server, ask someone. Most people online will be more than happy to help, especially if there's mods DCS or admins awesome. in the room. But have fun. That's why we're all here. We're not here because we don't enjoy it. We're here because it's fun. And it's even more fun playing with friends. Yes, it is. And there we go. That's it. 10 simple rules to follow <laughs> for a better online footage. life in DCS world. If you agree, feel free to say nothing. If you disagree, please comment <laughs> below and tell me to stick it where the sun don't shine. Or that, apply, if, that applies in every video. If you don't think I'm giving solid advice, tell me. Say, Pascal, you're full of nonsense. Use a stronger word if you want. It will be filtered, of course. But if you think I'm talking rubbish in a video, please correct me. Because if you correct something that I've said wrong, it means someone else is going to get the right answer instead of whatever answer I deliver incorrectly. I try my best not to make any mistakes. I'm human. Um, yeah. Call me out in my comments below. Of course you should. If you have 100%. any more suggestions, stick them in the comments below and we'll try and add it in a future video. Until next time, this is Tactical Pascal. Out. Oh, that's where the first out came from, is the first video. Yes. I didn't know where I got it, but it was there. Um, right, overall, review my first video. Um, I think those rules still apply. Um, I'd change the order of a few of them, uh, and I wouldn't deliver them with such harshness. Who am I to tell you what to do? It's your game. You can do it. It's your free time. Um, it's their suggestions instead of rules, perhaps. Um, yeah, I think that applies. Um 
it's weird listening back to myself because again I'm talking now at this pace um, and I've got a different mic because I've bought different setups because I thought oh YouTube's quite fun so I bought stuff through it um, it's weird listening to yourself back and it's weird listening to the hello this is tactical part as I spoke really slowly um, and again I'll look back on this video maybe in a year's time and go oh why was I doing that yeah anyway that was uh, quite interesting to see and the reason I'd done this was again because the channel reached a million views and I remember when I put this video up when I got a hundred views I was like oh the videos are a hundred views then I got a thousand views then I had like a hundred subscribers then a thousand subscribers and then it snowballed from there on and we're over 13,000 subscribers for the channel and thank you very much I mean it's been an amazing journey I now speak to the guys at Eagle Dynamics regularly we've got guys in Tactical DCS which came up because of the channel we get nearly 4,000 members and those guys speak to people at Eagle Dynamics and Razbam and all sorts of stuff and yeah the the contacts we've made and the friends we've made through this community because of this YouTube channel uh, has been a huge thing for me um, it was especially great through COVID we helped a lot of people we've done the two charity live streams on the channel uh, we're planning a third <laughs> uh, I regret saying it um, but this all came about because you guys are all watching the video uh, and, and liking them and hitting subscribe of course if you haven't subscribed because this video said 41,000 views the, the original one and I've only got 13,000 subscribers click that button it get, helps me massively just a little click subscribe gives me so much more impetus to do so many more videos because you watch those subscribers clicking up slowly and you want more because you want to help more people it's not because I want to go I've got 80 billion subscribers I mean that would be cool don't get me wrong I want that little the little hundred thousand thing it would go well in the wall behind me there um but I want to help people uh, and you clicking that button you're going to get more content that's going to help you um thank you very much for joining me um if you haven't subscribed already click the button you know what to do if you do want help come and join us at tactical dcs i'll include a link in the description below thank you very much for watching 10 rules for multiplayer they still apply thank you very much tactical pascal out